So we're starting over. All right, yeah, we're good. We forgot to record the sound, so <laughs> sorry about that. Fuck, we were 12 minutes in. All right, at least yeah. we caught it now. Yeah, it's okay. It it's all right. Well, it happens. Let's start. Can over. Make sure that one's recording. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. We're good. All okay. Right. How's it going, guys? I don't even know where to. to okay. Uh, welcome it's to the podcast. Kind of weird now because we're talking about the same thing again. Let's just start right. Over. It's okay. We'll just win, okay. but we can go over it faster, I guess. Now, so uh, Maggie's in a unicorn costume <laughs> because it's Halloween when you're watching or listening to this. So if you're not watching it on YouTube and you're listening. I suggest going and checking it out because she's sleeping, but she's she is in a unicorn costume. Yep. And I'm I'm just gonna wake her up real quick here to show you guys. Okay. There we go. She's not like happy about that. She's not yeah. happy about it. Okay. So yeah, that's Maggie. Uh what else did we talk about? Let's see. Nick's an orange, I'm an orange, Goody's a bum. Um <laughs> Weekend. The weekend. What'd you guys do this weekend? All right. Uh just we went out. Weekend. Nick, so Nick. Friday. Me and some friends went to the casino. Um, lost a thousand dollars in about 10 15 minutes. <laughs> um, insane just on slots, too, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, um, so is that fun? No, like not losing, but like you know, you're probably gonna lose when you go there. So, I wonder what, I wonder well, what the percentage is. Uh, table games are actually a little bit better percentages. I think that the slots is like 33% chance, but like table games, you can get like close to 50%. I mean, you think about it like blackjack. I mean, you're they're shuffling and pulling cards from a deck, whether the dealer hits a good card or you do. Um, so, I mean, there are obviously different percentage in different games and stuff, but you're still risking them. I mean, a lot of money. When I go and I'll play, uh, uh, what's it called? Roulette. Yeah. Craps. Roulette. Wait, you just pick red or black. All on red every time. Yeah. Every time you go, listen right here. You go to the casino, red every time. Dude, when I was in Vegas, I didn't play i played a little bit of blackjack but that was i like doing that just putting like 50 on red or 50 and on you black lose and you get sad craps is really fun too there's a lot when, going on in that game when you when you go when you get a good player and he just keeps rolling forever i mean it's a lot of fun the table definitely gets hyped up that's a, that's a very fun game to play but yeah we, we should go to vegas uh, we i'm going but oh, um bad. he uh yeah we lost a thousand dollars in 10 minutes and then we went to anthony's where we met up with goody Goody was there, and yeah, we were, yeah, we were hammered, fucking assholes. <laughs> that was oh, Friday night. I, I wasn't that drunk Friday night. I Facetimed but... Dan at twelve thirty at night. Yeah, I was up and editing, but Dan doesn't go out. Even he even said if if we invited him at eight o'clock, he was not coming. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have. Well, <laughs> if you did, I would have been like a couple white claws deep already, and I well, was, you might have come. I was hanging out with Allie. She could come. Nah, man, I don't like drinking that much. When I'm have when I have work in the morning, if I go to Anthony's, I'm like, I don't know. It just I keep going, I keep drinking. Yep, yeah, that's that's how Nick is and Mike. So yeah. I think that's how most people are though. Like, there's those memes that says like, want to grab one beer and then you and wake there up all day. Yeah, you wake up on the floor in your kitchen at four in the morning. Hmm. Yeah, so. That. But after that, I mean, all, all I did was work pretty much the whole weekend. Yeah, me too. And um, yeah, that's the weekend wrapped up today. Bears game. Who's losing? Who's winning? I mean, you guys are big football dudes, fantasy football guys. I'm not into it that much anymore. So I mean, I, w I would love to say the Bears are going to win, but I just don't think they have a chance. No, what, and plus five hundred, right? Plus five hundred on Fanduel. I mean, if you so, if you bet, it's like. I bet like fifteen on it, and you win like one hundred and twenty-five dollars. So I bet on them. It can go the complete opposite way, though. Never know. I mean, you take the Ravens game, right? Ravens in Cincinnati. I think Ravens were like minus a thousand or something crazy. It was like one of those, and they're losing right now to the Bengals. What <laughs> minus a thousand? Right. Yeah. What does that mean? Like, you put a dollar, you win a hundred, right? No, not, Ten bucks. Not, no. No. Yes, it is. Minus a thousand? Minus one thousand? No, you, you bet you, a dollar. You would win like a dollar. No, you win a dollar. You if you put a dollar on, you win ten dollars. Wait, plus that'd be plus, right? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Are you talking? Are you saying plus or minus though? Minus. They're projected to win. Yeah, but if it's minus a thousand, you put a dollar a, a dollar on, you're you're not gonna win ten dollars. You win like three dollars. 
No. It, it, you oh have my to. God. Now I got to pull it up. And Is that 1,000 times? Pull it up on there. Come on, Goody. But that's not what I'm talking about, though. See, I don't bet, and I don't do sports betting, and it's you guys do, and you can't even figure this shit out. <clears throat> I'm definitely right. Oh, confidence there. Look at I'm very confident. Okay. I'm ready. If you, all right, so the Packers right now are minus 1,500, right? If I bet a dollar on them, I win, I win seven cents. Think about this. So plus is what you guys yes, are talking plus about. plus is what we're talking about. To where you would win money. Yes. If it's, the Rams are minus 1,200. If you bet a dollar on them, you win eight cents. Oh. If it's plus. So you just okay, I had it, it flip flopped. Yes, yes. Wait, but then yeah. wouldn't you only, oh, okay. I mean, no, you could, bet, yeah. you could, it's just not smart to bet like. Like when it's plus a thousand, there's right. no point because you just basically so are winning your money what I, back. What I was saying then, so Cincinnati then, if you would have put a dollar on Cincinnati yeah. because they're winning right now, you would be a lot more likely to um, win money, obviously. No, yeah, exactly. But yeah, I have a couple parlays going. Um, some shiggles ones, which it's that just for fun. <laughs> shiggles means shits and giggles. I learned that when Me we too. forgot to record the microphone. Yeah, shits and giggles. So I did a couple of those. I just do a couple of five dollar ones. And then if one hits, one hits. But yeah, hmm. Bears are gonna lose. So yeah, they're gonna get smacked around. A couple probably. Of defensive players. Uh, Wait, they're playing Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. So that's Tampa. Brady. Tom Brady. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. And I think Gronk is back in now too. Oh, He's, they are. Is he still out with ribs? I thought he was questionable. Dude, what? Antonio Brown is, that guy is out. Need a paper? What's going on? He's got broken ribs all the time. Uh, yeah, no, Gronk's out with ribs. Antonio Brown's out with an ankle injury. Um, yeah, Bears are going to lose. Um, what are we getting into next? Mm. Crazy story, right, over the weekend. Alec Baldwin. If you don't know who Alec Baldwin is. He's, he's a, a murderer. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's a murderer. <laughs> oh okay. My God. He murdered this lady, the cinematographer. She has a family. Stop. Okay. Just... He's an A-list celebrity, right? Yeah. He's a very, he's an very popular actor. Um, if you watch SNL, he's hosted SNL a bunch of times. He's actually the most person that has hosted it. He was um, pretty good on 30 Rock. I'll give him that. Go on. Um, but yeah, he's an A-list celebrity. And he was on. He was shooting a movie on a set in New Mexico. Um, in this particular scene, he was loaded a prop gun which basically they're still real weapons and they can they can fire actual ammunition actual bullets or blanks which obviously in a uh, in a movie set you you'd figure that blanks would be in there um but there wasn't there was real ammunition and he killed the producer was a producer or no, director he injured either the producer or the director i don't know but he he killed the cinematographer right the lady behind the camera right um, so he killed someone. Yes. Yeah. Who's to blame? I don't know. Because it's what? What if? Okay. What if we were filming a, a movie, us three, and I killed somebody? <laughs> what I is that? I can't even. What is? Oh my god. <laughs> Show the camera what you just pulled out of here. <laughs> okay, so I just grabbed these pants. <laughs> I just grabbed these pants. By the way, we're all just, we're drinking alcohol, so it might be a little. Uh, oh man! I just oh grabbed these pants God. out of the dryer, and uh, there's. <laughs> Is that underwear boxers? Yeah, there's a pair of boxers oh in my. Oh my God! Oh, shit. Why did you just like in my <laughs> leg, dude? I felt like a weird lump that by my knee. I'm like, what happened? So oh I had to I had to gosh. search for something. Yeah, it was a pair of boxers. But anyways, oh uh, my, <laughs> the way you do it was hilarious. Oh shit. Okay. Um, oh my god. Yeah, but like, dude, if he wasn't a list, if he's not like a big, on this big movie set and everything, if it was like a, a more independent movie and an actor did that, he's probably gonna be labeled the murderer. I'm guessing. Or do you think? I don't know, man. We need more stuff to come out about it. What is this guy saying? This really red dude. Looks like he has high blood pressure. Troubling details emerging now in the tragic shooting by Alec Baldwin on his New Mexico film set. The gun he fired was reportedly used by crew members of the movie for off-site fun. He allegedly used it for target practice with live rounds. TMZ reporting that gun was fired at off-the-clock gatherings and that the live ammunition was found in the same area where the blank rounds for the movie were stored. 
former ATF Deputy Assistant Director and President of S3 Global Consulting, Scott Sweeto. Joins us, Scott, talk about stupid, I mean Hollywood stupid. So we're watching this Fox, TMZ obviously. report is true, using a, a, a prop gun, to, putting live bullets in a prop gun and using it in a, in a movie. What's your reaction? Yeah, good afternoon, Eric. I'll tell you, when I, when I heard this, like a lot of people, I was trying to figure out what was going on. And as these reports have come out, they've actually been even more troubling than what was originally reported. I think a lot of people think that because something is a Hollywood prop, that it's not dangerous. And an example I was giving a friend the other day is I said, well, they used a DeLorean as a prop in Back to the Future. That doesn't mean that you couldn't run somebody down with it. So when they call something a prop or, or a replica. Yeah, I would. I mean, I don't think he will. You don't think he will what? Press charges, at least against Alex. Maybe he'll probably sue like the. The produ Well, is Alex Baldwin the producer, too? I don't know, because a lot of these um, bigger actors that have been in the game a long time, they they do produce a lot of their stuff, right? Yeah. Like of their own stuff that they're in. So like. If he's going to, I mean, if anything, I feel like he could just sue the producer or like the company that's making the movie. Right. Yeah. Which there's might probably, be a better option than just suing Alex Baldwin himself. You know what? There's probably some type of protection that he has. I'm saying Alex. His name's Alex. Alex. Alex Baldwin. Alex Baldwin. I think Alex. Wait, he, his, his daughter is, is married to Justin Bieber. Haley Baldwin. Right. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the same family. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Hmm. Or she's no, no. She he's like her uncle, maybe I think or something. No, maybe that is his daughter. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I didn't know that, dude. It was just kind of so shocking to hear, man, and so unfortunate for. Her. I mean, it's happened in the past too. It's her uncle. Yeah, so he's her uncle. But at, that is Justin Bieber's wife, fiance. It's happened before. You're saying. Yeah, if you Google it, it's a, there's been more. There's been another shooting on a set. It was back in like the 90s, I think, maybe seven. I think that was like 1980 something, but that one was more serious. I guess it was like the main, like, person in the movie that died. That got shot, but it was like another tragic accident. Nothing really happened. I don't think from it. Like no one got arrested. Oh shit! It's just like shit like that happens. It's just like when like a stunt person falls from a building and dies and trying to make i mean obviously it's different but you know what i mean like yeah accidents happen even though they were just saying that right didn't they just say that they that they that gun shouldn't even have been there like they would use that gun to to shoot outside yeah, of like the set off, off work hours they were using the gun to like mess around and they actually so fired that's the probably weapon. not a good sign yeah i don't know there's a lot of variables that kind of miss uh, like questionable yeah i just think but it's terrible obviously yeah it sucks man for her and or well yes family <laughs> but for her family yeah it's not a it's it's <clears throat> yeah shit happens though accidents happen like you said but i'm just curious to see like the investigation where it leads to i will have to keep up with it i guess and i don't know i really don't know much about it i mean if, you, if you're alec baldwin how do you feel i mean obviously you're sad but like what do you even do like has he made a statement yet? I think the words was uh, yeah, yeah in, inconsolable. So he's just like not talking to anybody. It's, I mean, yeah. What can you even say? Yeah. You're using a prop gun. What can you say? <clears throat> that's true. Yeah. Man, that's a shitty situation well, for do sure. Do you want to tell him the conspiracy story that you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's always a conspiracy with everything. So there's, yeah, every single thing that happens... And they get Always. they come out with it in like within twenty four hours. There's going to be a conspiracy <laughs> about it. But this morning on TikTok, I saw this one come up that was um, basically the woman that got shot and died. Her husband works for a law firm that is going against somebody that the Clintons are close to, or the Clinton family, or something like that. And so the conspiracy that this guy came up with was that the Clintons killed the wife, had the wife killed to kind of tell the husband, like, stop, otherwise we're going to come after you too or, or your kids or something. Which, there's been a lot, of, a lot of conspiracies about the Clintons just killing anybody that kind of, like, gets in their way. But, dude, I don't know. That's a hefty coincidence, I think, or is it true? 
I don't know. That's crazy to think about. A lot of things. Like, you always things hear is, about the Clintons. Yeah, about them just like, this person said this about them, and then two weeks later, they commit suicide. There was some with Paul Walker, too. Did you hear about that one? Yeah, he was trying to like uh, get awareness on tra- child trafficking. Or well, yeah, and I also like heard that. like he they were. I don't know if he was gonna testify or something, but like something was going on with it, and then he got in the accident, and died. How but, many coincidences can there be before something is actually true? And then there was another one. I I think I read like this lady was either you know going to testify against him, died in a plane crash on her way there. Like, there's a you lot. You can probably Google it and talk. And I saw your, there was a list of like. A list of names of people and how they died and what happened like before they I mean all they do they, they, they're they so powerful they probably have people that work for them that yeah. they just like hey here you go and then it's like a it's like almost like a TV show crazy shit if it's true I don't know yeah I mean my my theory about Brian Laundry was <laughs> it, it didn't pan out <laughs> alright but um, there also was an update in the Brian Laundry case. He's, he's dead. Yep. He found his body. Oh, yeah. they, yes. They, but his dental I'm, records. I'm confused. What, how, I get like, they were saying it's like really, obviously it's hot in Florida and like the moist can like help decompose a body faster. Right. But like, like how, how is it already, he's already skele- like skeletal. So there's a few things that's weird. This area apparently has been underwater for like the past couple of weeks, but they found his backpack and then his notebook was by his body, but his backpack what backpack wasn't near his body or something like that. And then uh, a lot of gators. So I have a new theory. <laughs> um, Let's hear it. I don't care. I mean, dude. I think it's weird, too. <sighs> Alligators got him. But we don't know how much of his body was found. We Like, it just says, mm-hmm. like, remains. But what if they just dropped, like, a bone and a tooth? You could pull out a tooth and toss it there and... But there had to be enough. Or there's a cover up for something. I don't know, man. Uh, I, I thought it was weird that like go down the, the parents, rabbit hole. The parents and, decided to help and they found him. Right. I thought that was weird. I mean, I don't know. Thirty minutes into the search. But Yeah, that's that's I definitely think the parents helped him in some way. And I don't I don't know. So now what we need to know, the information that I want to know is uh is the notebook legible? They said they're trying to figure it out. They said they were seeing if it was well, like they can't read salvageable. Well, it was it was well it was water. Wet. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was it ruined or not? But they're it, they're trying to they said they're trying to figure out if it was like salvage salvageable. Maybe he left the I, note. I also that's, wonder how much they would actually release though to the general it'll get public. Out, I think it'll get out. But how much? I mean, what if he just admits it in a note in a note? I think they would they would report that to the press. I mean, because they said they they honestly mm-hmm. said they said like. He was, um, like, they never charged him with anything. You know what I mean? Like, they just said, like, he's a... Suspect? A suspect. Manhunt for him. Yeah. He, but he's just only a suspect. They never, like, said, oh, he for sure murdered her. Murdered her. Right. So, so, in a way, it's like the mystery still... The murder still unsolved. Well, yeah. we. I mean, the notebook needs to... The notebook's not able to be read, then it's just nobody knows what happened. Or people do, and they're not releasing information about it, which is a shitty situation. Yeah, because you need bad. to give, if he killed her, which, once again, we don't know, but it does seem like he did, right? If that dickhead, before he killed himself or whatever, didn't write a note just to like give her family um, closure or whatever, I mean, he already is a dickhead if he killed her, but... Just what an asshole, man. What a fucking douchebag. This fucking guy's making fun of me because I'm calling him a psychopath in the last episode. And Did you know the guy? How's he a dickhead? <laughs> I'm saying all that was if. That was all nah, he's if. a dickhead. I mean, I think, it's, he's I think he's such a, kind of like, almost like a pussy for the way he, like, went about it. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I would have loved for him to get arrested and, like, sit in jail. That's what I wanted to see. He wouldn't sit in jail. That's He'd people, be dead. That's people He'd that... Be, you know, you know, kill someone. That's what that's what should happen to him. They should go to jail and sit in there. Yeah, every day. Mm-hmm. But then I gotta pay taxes for it, so I don't know. <laughs> what the death penalty sounds better or what? What are you going? What are you <coughs> getting I don't, at I don't know. Where are you? Where you? Where are you going, Maggie? Oh you gonna gosh. jump? She's trying to jump. Maggie's Please trying don't. to get some coffee over here. Yeah. Oh um. God. All right. Well, I gotta pee, so let's take a break and then come back 
and uh, all right, we'll be right back. We're back. I'm a, I'm a, okay. I was thinking about this while I was peeing. I'm a little upset. About what? About what happened. I just wanted to explain to them if this podcast seems a little, a little all over the place. It's because we first started for 12 minutes. We were recording and there was no audio. We weren't recording the audio. Everything else was recording, but we weren't recording the audio. And then we redo it and these fucking dogs are going crazy. So if we seem a little all over the place, that's why. Fin- Finley's Just, locked up. Finley is now well, locked Dan's up. Well, Dan's the best editor, so we, we're good. Yeah, that's true. I can edit a lot of it out. I need this. Um, Dan's all over the place right now. Well, I wanted to put He's my had two up. beers, so you, right, you well, gotta give him a wait, little slack. Did I, we get? Did I've we get one. the part where? Did we get the part where you pulled out the boxers from your pants? I, I don't. Know. That was in the second one, right? The second set. That yeah. was the second set. I mean, there's just a lot going on. I was dying. Dan mid mid podcast. Dan gets on the ground, starts looking under the couch or something, because Finley's going nuts. Nick's pulling boxers out of his pants. <laughs> It's just By the a way, shit not, show. Not and the box I was do- wearing. Let's clarify that. <laughs> all, the, just, like, all the dogs are barking. I'm just sitting here. Yeah, it, it, it was just a wild. Hope we can have a little hey, sometimes bit. Sometimes those are great, though. Yeah, we'll see. Funny we'll, moments. We'll see what happens when, when I get that into that. That was funny, though. You got to keep the boxer one. You got to post that. That was hilarious. Yeah, I was crying last night. A little teaser. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, dude, what's going on? Why do we have like 13 of... We appreciate everybody that listens and watches. There's a lot of young kids that watch... Is it because, you know what, here it is. I don't... The reels. That's where they're coming from, I think. Maybe. Yeah, because, like, a couple comments, and they're all, like, 13, 14, 15. We're drinking beers and swearing. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's and true. They don't have to watch. That's true. I'm, no, I'm just saying. P- I'm just saying. Like, 13 show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, but what I'm saying uh-huh. is, like, you, they, get, they get to pick and choose what they listen to and watch. Mm-hmm. So, if you see a reel, and, I mean, there's, I, I don't know. Yeah, dude, did you see, well, um, I put it on my story about the TikTok, that, how they muted the sound Yeah. for the one teaser reel I posted, because I said dick. <laughs> I said the word dick. What's up with that? What's going on here? Yeah, I don't I'm know. I'm 25. Why. I could say the word dick. What's going on? I mean, on? even if you said the word fuck, like, yeah. you can't, What? soft. <laughs> I don't know. People Instagram Instagram doesn't care about that and Facebook and they're nuts. So you can have fifteen year old girls showing their fucking asses off and literally like crazy, but you can't say a dick. They're naked. But I can't say somebody's name. Richard. What if I was talking about a guy named Richard? We call him Dick. <laughs> what else are we talking about today? Uh you Face- said something about Facebook, right? Facebook. I haven't heard anything about that. Okay. Either of I, so it'd be interesting. Yeah. So Facebook I heard about this. Blake told me about it, that Facebook is changing their name. But he said not only are they changing their name, they're like, they're doing like a huge change to the app Facebook too, where they're going to have like crypto, a tab for crypto, a tab for NFTs, a tab for social. And I didn't look into it too much because I wanted to look into it right now uh, while we're in the podcast. So the link is in the notes if you want to pull it up. Um It's an article from The Verge. They are something called like the metaverse or okay. So Facebook is planning to rebrand the company with a new name is meant to signal the tech tech giants ambition to be known for more than social media and all the ills that entail. Is that what it says? Ills? Oh yeah. Ills. What the fuck does that mean? So it's going to be a a metaverse company. I don't like it. So what does that mean? It's going to be called Vergecast? No wait. No, that's that's the. No, I'm so confused. Yeah, no, no, yeah. No. that's is that like his podcast? They're they're changing the this name guy. of Facebook to not just be a like a social like they're trying not to just be a social media. But it's still gonna now. be called Facebook. No, no, they're gonna change the name of it, but it's they're calling it a metaverse because they're implementing a lot of different things into what Facebook I mean, already I, is. I don't, I don't like it. I don't even use Facebook I mean, anyway. I feel like that's kind of a bad idea, considering like if you look up the. The age that use Facebook, a lot of them don't even know how to like. That's the only you know what I mean. A lot of them don't are not very like. It's usually logically savvy. It's so. usually older older people. So older why would people. they make it even more difficult? And and a bunch of random stuff on there. They're gonna add cryptos and NFTs like, and those, everything. Those people don't even know what that is. It. But maybe it's because they're trying to shift their 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 like like the demographic. Like, yeah, yeah, but they already own Instagram, so what do they yeah, care? I don't know. It's and weird WhatsApp. To me. Why wouldn't they, they just make a, a new stuff. a new social media and just leave Facebook alone? 
because they already have such a big following on Facebook, so they think that if they just revamp I, it and put a I bunch mean, of new stuff in it, I guess. Imagine but... they start selling NFTs on Facebook. No, I'm sure it'll. I I'm mean, sure it, it'll be good. I just I wouldn't do it. It's all about money, man. No, I know. They want to make more money, which is kind of crazy because like he already money. makes They're so a multi -billion much. Multi-billion dollar company. Yeah, I mean, he's he's one of the richest men in the world. Yeah, but Facebook alone is a multi-billion dollar company, and. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't. They're a social media company, right? Just buy another company and start it up that way or something. Yeah, it's just if this is correct, I feel like it's clickbait. But it says interview Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook's metaverse. So, I mean, maybe later this week I'm gonna, I'll listen to that podcast if it is an actual interview with Mark Zuckerberg and maybe he explains all all of that. But scroll a little bit i want to see what else does it say does it say anything about like a rebrand could also serve to further separate the futuristic work zuckerberg is focused on from the intense scrutiny fa facebook is currently under okay so part of the rebrand is because it's people already like don't like that facebook censors people and stuff like that so i mean yeah okay doesn't everything did it say it was going to add a, a, its own search engine don't all social media censor you to certain stuff to see Yes. Like, Social Dilemma. Yep. That you was, a, watch great, that on that was a great Netflix show or documentary. Great documentary. It's kind of crazy. Kind of weird. Yeah. They know exactly how like, long. Like if you talk into your phone, I think I was talk. I like talk about shoes a lot or whatever. Anything you talk about Instagram ad the next day of just shoes or like. An ad for it. Ad, everything. Yeah. You, can, um, you can stop that now. Mm -hmm. Oh. iOS 15. Um, Apple is actually, it's a really I mean, I can't speak for Androids. Um, I've never really had one, so I, I don't know how they're, how that works Shit's with all their apps lame. across phones. But um, yeah, Android sucks. But uh, they'll Apple will ask you if you want this this app to be able to track you across different websites. It'll, yeah. it'll, it'll prompt you now. You mm -hmm. haven't updated your phone? Probably not. So yeah. It's it's pretty handy. It, it's oh, good. Yeah, I like it. Shit. Yeah, it is. I I, I just hit no for everyone. I don't yeah. want to be tracked yeah. or ask app not to track. Yeah. I think you can do it. Um, as just a multi, like in the settings, you can do it for every app and just turn them all off. Oh. It's very yeah. nice. That's very annoying. Now I'm kind of interested in seeing if I could do that. You can't. Just go to security. What's Apple Arcade? That's like their game. It's like a separate app store, but for games. Three months free? Might have to, might have to do that. <laughs> yeah, Apple's... Um, They have Apple... I think, yeah. I mean, what's it called? Apple, the streaming thing? Apple... TV? Oh, it's just called Apple TV? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that about? They have it's, their own. It's like Netflix. Just, it's like it's they're crazy. Blue. They're all doing that. I haven't heard anybody say like, "Yo, there's this. Check out this show. You gotta watch it. It's on Apple TV." Yeah, I, I still have yet to I see a lot that. on Amazon. What's Amazon Peacock? Prime? Well, they're all Peacock is like uh, a new Netflix. Fubo. It's like Fubo. 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 Yeah, you know, Fubo. It's like Hulu. Fubo. <laughs> oh, that's the Fubu? clothing. <laughs> Fubo. Yeah. I've never... Oh, Fubo. Fubo. Yeah. Okay. Fubo. Okay. What happened to? Uh, Man, there was one that everybody was promoting like on Snapchat a couple like a year or two ago, and I guess it just never. Peacock. That was Peacock. It might have been Peacock. I thought it was called something it's else. St it's still they obviously they don't do as well as I, I think even with like Apple, there's not too many like shows that are like really popular on there, but they probably still have a lot of users because it's Apple. I mean, right. it's like everything, but like Netflix and Hulu, um, they're just not as popular as the, those big name brands. And I think it's partially because of the originals that they come out with. Because now that like Netflix comes out with Netflix originals, bangers. there's a lot of lot of good shows and movies now. They are absolute bangers. Yeah. On what? On Netflix. Netflix. The Netflix original Hulu shows. Too. Hulu too. Really? They're yeah. so good, man. I feel like Netflix kind of fell off. Mm -mm, no. They. Yeah. Uh, I think. No. You... This last semester, they added. I think there was a number. Don't quote me on this, but I want to say I'll, I'll pull it up in a minute here. Um. 13 million new users. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that it's, it's not doing well, but I feel like they well, keep getting rid of stuff. Like well, With good, COVID. I was trying numbers, to watch The Office. The numbers shot up. Why? The Office is 20 years old. It's only the greatest show of all time. How many times are you going to watch them? I yeah. watched like, it a lot. You don't like watching and experiencing new shows and movies? I, I think... do, but I, when I go to bed, I like going to bed with a good state of mind, and The Office is funny. Sometimes when I'm watching a movie... On like TV, I'll wake up at 3 a.m. to like a Michael Myers commercial, and I'll be scared. Do you think part of the reason they took it off was because they want people to try watching different stuff? 
I mean, do you I think mean, that's something be, that Netflix I, could I feel do? Like because it's, it's also a contract with uh, something like that. Oh yeah, the whoever created the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, I mean, yeah, because they did it with Friends. I mean, they're getting rid of The Office. Like all these shows are. And I bet you watch their Hulu's gonna scoop them up or something. Well, uh, The Office is on Peacock. There you go. Peacock so picked Peacock up the contract. Signed a contract, yeah. But I'm not. I'm not getting Peacock just to watch The Office. Hulu just is garbage. You think so? The interface, it doesn't work. It's not smooth. I don't like it. It's like Netflix is, well, first of all, the ads suck, but I feel like it's just not a smooth interface. And it's like, it's Netflix is just like similar to Apple that it's just like really streamlined and easy to use. I feel like Hulu, maybe it's just the thing that I'm using on the Fire TV, but the Hulu app I think sucks. I don't know. No, it's not because I have obviously like, I have a really nice Sony TV. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's like one of the new ones. And so it's a really good really good software um and i can't even i mean hulu just sucks it's laggy um but like disney plus netflix youtube um spotify everything else runs perfectly so i think it's just the poor like software design almost yeah um but back to that netflix thing netflix has not stopped growing since 2013 this this chart shows is that year is that yearly can you zoom in on that real quick this is uh quarterly quarterly so quarterly. It, it, if it was yearly you know there could have been ups and downs per, wait what's the uh, 20 third quarter it looks like first so third. you know what the there are over 200 million users oh my think about that for a second you know how much netflix is now it's like 18 bucks a month now. 18 bucks a month for a family Did, didn't it start at 10 i think seven like years ago years ago seven dollars oh a month God. then it was 10 then it was 13 but yeah, everybody hops on like different accounts. I still share. use my ex-girlfriend's. She has no idea. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. She has to have an idea. Don't you have an account? No, I use user? her mom's name. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. You're doing it under Linda's? Who the fuck's Linda? I don't know. I don't know her mom's name. <laughs> I just made up no, a name. No, it's just funny though. Oh. Okay. Why would, I, why would I pay for that? So I thought there was going to be a bigger jump because of COVID, but it literally it looks like a steady tra- just all the way. I thought there was going to be a huge jump in the in the graph because of COVID, but I I guess they've just been a constant growth. Yeah, That's... their stock has their stock has gone up exponentially since COVID. Yeah, since the beginning of COVID, before it was even a thing, kind of in like December, January when it kind of first to now, um, they their stock has grown a lot. So is Moderna. Seriously, I bought in at eighty bucks, and it's like four hundred dollars right now. I share. Yeah, you yeah. still have it? Yeah, I still own it. I bought five shares at eighty bucks, and now it's worth like four hundred. I recently just purchased um, well, Shiba. Yeah, because if they keep doing boosters and stuff, they're gonna keep going up. Shiba. Shiba, you know. The fuck like, is that? It's a dog. <laughs> now, nah, but uh, well, I knew that. It's like but... Dogecoin. Um, but I put shit 50, coin? I put fifty bucks. It's at four ten thousandths of a penny. Very small number, right? So there's four zeros, and then. There's four zeros before the decimal, and then a number. Um, mm-hmm. So it's a very small number, but I put 50 bucks in, and I'm already up $40 on it. I'm almost doubled my money. Granted, it's okay, right? It's not a lot of money, but that's still crazy yeah. for a coin that's that small. Should I do it? Do I'm, it. Not, I'm not giving out financial advice or anything, but like, <laughs> yeah, I would do it. <laughs> What's 50 bucks? Can you lose 50 bucks? No, I'm Have I'm you been? Then don't do it. Do you, have you been like investing anything at all? I remember. Uh, small stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I think I, I have like 100 bucks in. Doggy coin, Doge, Doggy. Doge. I've never took it out. Yeah, I mean it's kind of it kind of fell off a little bit. Um, I wouldn't like when it but... when it like you know like took off for like the one week or whatever. I yeah. made like two hundred bucks from it. Really? Some people I know made like thousands. Yeah, I was. I mean, I made like I think it was eight hundred dollars off Doge. Fucking crazy. Or like when uh, GameStop, I GameStop. made like four hundred from GameStop when it just sprouted up from like. Yeah, it's very controversial. Like a. A lot of people like that are like actual stockbrokers, and they like they hated that obviously. Oh, well, that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, because all those rich people are mad. Right. That's not supposed to happen. Um, AMC, AMC is still going crazy. I think actually. It is. Um, but yeah, stocks are crazy. Yeah. Cryptos are even crazier, and now there's NFTs. I don't do, even know. Do you, what, do you know what NFTs? I don't are? even really know what NFTs yeah, are. So you know what NFT is, right? I do. I do. But we were talking about having uh, somebody on that like knows. A lot about them. So, Anthony Eclipse. Does he though? <laughs> Probably. Probably. I don't really know anyone else that would. NFTs, no, but like financial stuff, we were gonna have your brother on. So, yeah, that's just. 
man, I don't know. It's like people with money I know are doing it, like Logan Paul and Mike Malak and Crypto Punks. Yeah, but I don't I don't know, man. I don't really know what it is though. So basically it just looks like stupid pictures. So here uh that you own. I'll give you I'll give you a easy an easy example. Just kinda. screenshot it. Um for real. Uh it was um not a little Dirk. Who was on Nelk's podcast? The rapper Black Tiger. Leprechaun. Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez. He was explaining it as so imagine your imagine Drake came out with an album, right? It was six tracks or whatever. And only you could get it. And it was only like online. It was a digital piece, right? Like you couldn't just sell it to the general public. So they're valued so high because you own the rights to that album now. If you if you bought it. That's how he described it's it. A little bit different. That's way way different, though. Right, but how much things are selling for? Like how much an NFT is selling for is ridiculous. But he, they can't resell it. You own it. Yeah. You're the only person that can own that. Yeah. And so like, depending on I how could, much they come out with does of those that mean NFTs, I could sell it? you could sell it. You yeah. I'd make more money from doing it. Yes. Is that way they're doing? It's like a reselling thing. Yeah. So some people are see that makes more sense than the pictures to me. The pictures look so stupid. Crypto but punks are weird. Yeah. He's actually giving them something to buy that you own a product exactly but the pictures that makes zero sense to me mm -hmm. dude i saw gary v posted one it was like literally like a, like a he he drew him and they were like look like a, a stick figure monkey yeah i don't know i don't and then somebody paid the somebody punks. bought it like for two thousand mm dollars -hmm. dude a oh, logan paul's is worth was worth like a million yeah i think it was some crazy and somebody number. bought it yeah dude people were buying them and selling yeah, them like crazy. that what idiots and it's like okay but it's crazy art it's art in your house that it's physical it's there but like this is digital art yeah but you can screenshot and it's the same quality right i mean and then sell it yourself behind no the scenes. i think there you, was something about that where you you like couldn't do that there's like a tag that, you know, right like yeah it's like in your wallet and you own there's a way to show you get sued for that i don't know dude it's where are we going with but I don't know. Just, I mean, I don't even sounds know. Sounds interesting, I guess, but mm -hmm. yeah, maybe I'll look into it more at some point. But just it's just a lot right now. It's like too much to try to learn. Hurts my brain. You guys doing anything for Halloween or anything like that? You Party? are Agrity. Yeah. Where are you going? Visit Austin. Where's Austin at? Missouri University, of Missouri. Mizzou. Mm. Yeah. We're leaving Friday, come back Sunday. You guys just like hanging out at bars or is it more like a like a party, like a house party, Halloween party? There's a uh there's a Golden Girls Halloween party we got invited to. Is it dressing up as girls? No. It's like it's like a I don't even know. Austin just texted me and said we're going to this Golden Girls thing. I guess it's like a sorority girls Halloween party. Sounds kinda weird. It it's basically a sorority having a party. All right. And it's called the Golden Girl. Golden I Girls. guess I guess th these girls, dude, it's weird. They have it in their bio, like Golden Girl, Mizzou. So I just stay away from those girls. Um, oh my god. <laughs> well, dude, okay, but that's kind of weird. Why? Why would you have a like? I guess they're called the Golden Girls. Like that's their sorority name. Yeah, I guess it's like either no, that makes their, more it's sense. It's their nickname though. It's like saying Delta Chai or whatever. Yeah, they're like, having yeah, a frat but that's party. Weird. The Golden Girls. Yeah, it's very. I mean, I don't. That's your name. Really, like, anyways, ego. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, Ugh, I don't yeah. like. That's gross. But anyways, yeah, I guess we're having a party. We're probably gonna go there, and then there's this bar called Willie's that uh, we were there a couple weeks ago, and it's fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Like, Huge, bro. Like Two. girls got like just crazy amount. Well, yes, but yes. Like um, DJ. There's, Girls. there's two DJs, there's two, there's like three floors, um, there's like four different bar sections. So there's alcohol? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. A lot of alcohol. <laughs> is it more like a club too, or is it just like... Not really. Not like... I mean, they have like tables you can get, like their dance floor doesn't open up to like 10, dude, they oh, okay. start So drinking. it's kind of like scooters almost? No. Oh, not at all? No, don't compare it to scooters. <laughs> well, a scooter, like, okay, like, so yeah. scooters to Anthony's, like, Anthony's is such it's more, more laid scooters, back. It's more of a scooter's vibe, okay, like, right. dancing, like, Anthony's Live just music. sit around. I mean, right. there's, a, but that's the cool thing about it. There's, like, different sections. So, like, if you want to just chill and have a beer and sit at a table with your friends, you could do that. Or they have a table, they have, like, an actual table that you could buy in, on in like, the club dance, dance floor part, and you just sit there. And, like, I feel like that's how most bars should be, obviously... They're not all big enough to do that. Are you I'm just, getting a table? 
Yeah, Luke's buying one. Nice. Nice, Luke. Yeah. I don't Luke know who that is. is. Gonna, Luke Little. Tables are a lot of money. You guys, it's like, I think you guys haven't gone to a club. And it's like 700 table. bucks. And that's cheap. I mean, that's kind of cheap that's for a cheap. table, though. Yeah, I mean, you've city. been to a lot of a lot of clubs in Chicago yeah, area. Those, those, it's in Chicago. We're going to Columbia, That's Missouri. anywhere, though. We, I went to a club in Schaumburg. Drink. I'll drink. I think we paid like $1,500. Schaumburg's oh pretty pricey. Area. I mean, Schaumburg's a nicer area, too, mm -hmm. but that's not that's not Chicago. It's not in the city. Right. But you've been to a lot of clubs in the city, and those... Yes, I have, and it's, it's crazy. Ridiculous. Even but, buying bottles. Yeah, but like... You split the cost between like twelve people, so it's not that big of a deal. Like if a table of minimum is like eighteen hundred, and you get fifteen people, fifteen people there, then that's like a hundred bucks a person, a little bit, like one hundred and fifty per person, and that usually gets you like four bottles. Four bottles can fuck fifteen people up, dude. Well, me, yeah. all I need is like two drinks, and I'm dancing around everywhere. I've had a Corona and a almost two Coronas. And I also haven't eaten anything today. Feeling good? Yeah. I have not eaten, though. I know. I'm starving. But, yeah, so we're doing that. And, I mean, it's like, it's Halloween weekend, so we'll probably have costumes. I'm trying to figure out what I what I need to be. Oh, dude, we need to figure this out right now. What do so you... So, I have... Squid Games. I have a picture. Everybody's going to do I that. I have a picture of a right? lumberjack, Yeah, right? I think so. <laughs> a lumberjack? His name's Dick. Oh, so it's yeah. Dick's, Dick's Morning Wood Service. Oh, give him the good wood, Goody. And then on the back, it's it says, <laughs> we bring you the best wood, Dick's Morning Wood Service. Oh, I like That's it. Kinda, oh, it's, it's in the shape of it, a, a cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can't post that on TikTok, though. And it's, oh. a, and it's, it's a cutoff. No, no, no. So oh, it's, it's like, a cutoff? Oh, oh yeah. it's kind nice. of unfortunate, though, for you. I mean, I'm huge. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, though. So yeah. I don't know if the, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I might just be something basic, like. Yeah, I were I'll be a ninja, a ninja, or I'll be I'll be uh, uh Joe from you. Mm. Yeah, you you should. A lot of people say I look like him because I always wear hats. Huh. Well, like when I you guys don't even shade. have the same. Skin I don't know. See, I don't get it either. There's color. a lot of people that wear hats. You know I, what? Hey, I, that's what I'm saying. But like everybody looks dude, like Joe. A lot dude, of people say. Huh? When I was at Mizzou, right? All right, let me just say this: when you like going to like a big school like that, bro, there are just girls everywhere. Right. So. We're getting breakfast, uh, the the morning after one of the nights we went out. Rough morning for Jordan. Oh, by you the told way. me about this. I think there right was, at the gym. there was girls. There's just girls everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. You, you, you like we just went to Duncan or Chipotle. There's just girls everywhere. I mean, you the way you explained <laughs> it to me though, right? It was like girls were like coming up to you guys, right? Yes, at just the like bar, crazy, like at, at the bar. I mean, not like at Chipotle, but what I'm saying is like just like throwing dude, themselves you, at you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess not like that though. Like dude, I mean, you're with some studs, man. Those yeah, dudes, but what what I'm saying is I was mean, what, a good the guy. story I'm talking about is is uh I was checking out and the girl Ooh. come I was checking out oh. at, I was checking out like getting rid like checking out what the <laughs> hard like, what, what are you talking about I thought you meant you were checking out a girl or no something. I was checking out paying we were leaving the breakfast place and this the waitress comes over she goes hey I was like what's up she's like you look just like the weekend. I said, "What the fuck? <laughs> That's so off." Is that, like, is that a compliment? Or I, well, not? no. She's like, she's like, "Don't worry, it's a good, th a good thing." And so I didn't know what to say. I had my hood up because it was, like I said, rough morning. I turned around, and just walked away. I didn't say a word. <laughs> oh my god! And I kind of felt bad, bro, because she was like standing there, and I, I turned back, and she, she was talking to her friend, and I, I was like, "What the fuck?" I, I don't. Do you, do you, did you take that as a compliment? Or was that more like a? I feel like the weekend's a good looking guy. Think so? Well, yeah. It was probably just an excuse for her to say something to yeah, you. Come up and. But like I, it, I thought it was so funny. I was like. And then we were at we were at Duncan, and there was this really really cute girl behind us. So I paid for her behind me. Whoa! And then I I, I left her a note. I said, "Text me." Damn, she, that's crazy. But man. guess what? She didn't. She, she never texted, texted me. You. Oh, she did. Yeah. Did you guys meet up? No. Dang it! It was just one of those. Well, things. you're going back. I'm going back this weekend. You gotta text her. Hit her up. No. Why not? Because mm, she didn't hit you up. Cause she's not going to Golden Girls. <laughs> I'm, I'm not That's even going why. to that. I'm she, not going to that shit. She's a silver girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's in the other one. Maybe bronze. Maybe. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm joking, but no, I know. No, but I did. That's I fun just, though. I thought that was weird though. Mm. Like, I went to one of the girls' pages and it says Golden Girl. Yeah. It's just a little strange. I don't know. I guess I'm not used to all that. But what about you guys? What are you guys doing for Halloween? Mm, nothing. As far as I know, right now, nothing. I probably do something, but. I don't know. It's soon, right? This weekend. Yeah, it's in a week. Is it Saturday, Friday? I don't even know. Uh, Sunday. Oh. But, I mean, like... Saturday night, people will be going Saturday, out. Friday night and Saturday night, people will be going out. I mean, I'll, I'll, 
I'll probably be at Anthony's. I mean, like you're in the area. They do costume. They hit me up. I'll be there. No, no, I don't think people really dress Nick, up. Nick's there. buying drinks for people at Anthony's this weekend. I mean, look, maybe or Mike. But Mike will buy you shots. I'll probably buy shots too, to be honest. But yeah, no, I'll probably be at Anthony's. Not, not doing too much. Yeah, Dan will be at Fresh Fruit. Sundays, yep. weekends. Mm-hmm. I will be actually. You know what? I didn't set up any of my Halloween decorations this year. I went hard last year. <laughs> Should pop some pictures up on the screen so they can see. I will. Yeah. yeah. You, you. I mean, you did. It looked really nice, actually. Yeah, and then I just mm. been so busy, it just got away from me, and I pulled it all out. It's been sitting in the living room in the boxes for like three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, and I just it's just time. It's crazy to think that I pulled those out even three weeks ago. It's like, man. But next year, I'll set them up. It'll be cool. But, yeah, so that's what's coming up. And then we got to end this with some happy news, man. I picked it out last time. Wait. Um, I didn't find a link. I was trying to. I still think it's terrible that it's really hard to find good news like that. I, I don't know. Uh, Just search something about puppies. <laughs> that's all I want to see. Wait, what is this? Oh, look at this. It's called Squirrel News. Squirrel. You ever heard of it? No, I, I'm not a squirrel. <laughs> it's a free, curated, solution-oriented news app. We collect the most important good news from across the world. But you have to download the app, of course. Try, uh, try to look for different animal news, then. Oh, wait, here we go. Cancer treatment breakthrough. Very good. Um, what happened? Uh, clean environment declared human right world's fastest EV charger. So, EV electric vehicle charger. What does that have to do with cancer? Wait, what? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, okay. Here we go. So, it's a groundbreaking trial where which has successfully de- destroyed cancerous tumors in terminally ill patients. So they recognized them of being able to access to a clean and healthy environment as a fundamental right in the upcoming rollout of the world's electric car charger oh i'm reading (laughs) jeez i'm reading the news that that they're going to talk about not the actual article itself oh my god let's go let's go good news cats that's just bad news anyway cats oh fuck funny cat stories here how about that people like cats are you a dog person or a cat big dog guy what about you Dogs or cats? I hate cats. I can't. I can't be around a cat. Right. Nick, find I'm something. Severely Nick, allergic. you gotta find something. I am looking I'm right, now. right now. I think I. I think I found. I can't believe one. I just messed that up that bad. I was reading. So, so here we go. Um, a team of surgeons in New York City announced this week that they successfully attached a kidney from a genetically altered pig to a human body. It's kind of weird, but it's very, very like I guess in the world of science, it's kind of exciting. I guess. Wait. Right. So. What did they do? They attached. A kidney from a genetically altered pig to a human body. So mm. someone was on the transparent list for a kidney, and they said you're going to get a pig trans or a big a pig kidney from a, a, p- a genetically modified pig, though. Right, altered pig, which means they grew this pig by them, like with from a what? What the fuck I don't does know. that mean? <laughs> I don't know, but it it, it said the the kidney just... from the pig started working right away. Which is I mean, kind of crazy to think about. It's genetically modified. They usually just means that they might have just was given him certain medicine or something to change like his like system. Because like you can get like GMO GMO food. It's the same thing. Right. Like, they put certain stuff in it to make it last longer. So I'm sure I'm sure they didn't grow the pig. It's just right, right. something they gave him to. You know what I mean? Is the pig dead? <laughs> um, that's that's bad news. If I'm, it is, right? If it's yeah, I don't know. Here I'll, I'll read this too. It says why it matters. So. Pig organs could create a sustainable solution to the backlog of 90,000 plus people in the U.S. waiting for a new kidney. That means all those pigs are going to die. And they already get killed for bacon. I wonder why pigs. Why can't it be like a squirrel? We're closer Um, to like chimps and shit, right? Yeah. They have kidneys, I'm sure. Yep. Maybe like the pig's kidney is most similar in shape and size to a human kidney. Maybe that's... Right, I mean, they already experiment a lot on monkeys. I wonder how uh, PETA feels about that. Well, it couldn't, couldn't be good news for them. I mean, maybe they don't kill them because, I mean, you only need what? What does it say, a liver? Uh, yeah, or, a liver. Yeah, you can, your liver, does it grow back? 
Do pigs need livers? Because they do. Pig, well, livers. I mean, they regulate. I, they regulate the toxins in your blood. Livers grow right? back. No, I don't think they grow back. But I, <laughs> what, who's what? D- 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 he just said he goes. Do livers grow back? What is happening? Okay, look, Google it. I think they grow back. What? It's like a tail on a lizard. I don't think li- uh, Okay, no, I think you can just function with less of a liver, right? Man, yeah, you don't. I don't think you really need a liver to function. <laughs> I didn't like. Oh, it's uh, right there. Can a liver grow back? Oh, here we go. That can replace oh. lost or injured tissue. Donor's liver will soon grow back to normal size after you still oh, have so to. It can't be gone completely. Basically, yeah, you can give him like half a liver and it'll slowly it'll grow back. Itself. Okay, so I'm not an idiot. No, you're not. I, I knew mean, that. It no, can't be complete. Like you can't take no, out a liver and it's just gonna no, grow back. Well, we're talking about transplants, so I knew that I was. Ta- I was talking about like regrowing, um, from one that was like given to you. So if you give like a third of your liver up to somebody else, it's gonna expand in the person that they give it to, and yours is gonna be fine too. Uh, it is bad news for those pigs though, because you can't you can't live without a liver. <laughs> Have you ever had bacon? Oh, bad news for the pigs. Yeah, I thought you were talking about for the. Okay. Oh my God. I don't eat bacon. Pita, I love. I think it. Dan's hammered. He is hammered. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had two Coronas. It's just like, I don't know. This is that's just, the good news. That's a great scientific news. breakthrough. Yeah, I mean, they've been working news. on it for a while too. I I did read that. So that's so, I mean that's good if they can sustainably not do if you it. Like animals, just don't listen to that part. But yeah. Sorry, Peter. But yeah. All right. Well, well that yeah, was, was a, a shit show. Yeah, it was a shit show, and we apologize for that. Um, th- who even knows what you guys are gonna see? I, I don't even know. I'll look when I edit it. We'll see what the fuck happens. But um, I'll try to make it look like less of a shit show. You should have a bloopers one that you put up with all the stuff gone that went wrong. Yeah, we should. I should do that actually. But yeah, thank you for listening or watching. We appreciate you. You're down. Bear down. Bear down. I am a Justin Bears Fields. fan. <laughs> Justin Fields leading us to victory today. Oh, he's playing? Oh, yeah. He's their starter. Good, good. But yeah. The game's slowly on right now. Cool. <clears throat> Bears game starting. We got to go. Yeah. Thank All you right. for watching, Thanks. listening. Adios. Thanks for the support. See ya.